Hello again and welcome. Recently I had made a video demonstrating some of the new features I've added to my software for the Nano VNA. A viewer by the name of Alex had asked if I could expand on my amplifier stability feature. Originally I was just calculating K and he had asked if I could go ahead and add the B factor. That in itself wouldn't have been a problem, but the other thing they were asking about is if we could add a family of stability circles to the plots. That gets a little bit more complicated. Let me just show you how some of that works. So you can see we have the transfer relay installed. And we'll go ahead and clear the memories. Let's go ahead and select the transmission rectangular. You can see we definitely have an amplifier attached. You can see how the gain changes as we change the state of the transfer relay. From the previous video, I've changed the name of that button from K factor to stability. You can see if I select that without having the two port sweep enabled, it doesn't do anything. But if I do it with it enabled, then the software will display the stability circles. And you can see if we change the number of points, of course we're adding more circles to the display. I had attempted to do this using the LabVIEW Smith chart at one point, and it was far too slow to be useful for this. If you're interested in learning more about amplifiers and stability factors, there are several papers available online for free. If we go ahead and select the Advanced tab, you can see we now have this submenu of S parameters, stability, and gain. I've overlaid a digital readout for the various stability factors that I'm calculating. This includes John Rowlett's stability factor, B1, Delta, the unilateral figure of merit, and also Edwards and Sinsky's mu factor. The manual provides the formulas that I'm using for each of these. You can see how as I move the cursor, it updates the digital display. But notice how S11 and S22 in the Smith charts above, it also changes the stability circles. We can also disable various plots. This is the original S parameter page. Again, the readouts are tied to the position of the cursor. I've also added the magnification feature for the two polar plots. You can see we can also calculate the amplifier's gain this is G max that I'm using. We can rescale this graph. This is in log. So we just turn off the auto scale and we'll just change this from 800 to 900 megahertz. Let's go ahead and change the number of data points back to 25 and again we can see the display stops updating you can see the same thing on the two port plots the data is being updated but it's just not updating the graphs and again it's because the refresh is too slow at 50 milliseconds we'll go ahead and adjust it down to 25 can see the update rate now is quite a bit faster than it was. If we go ahead and deselect the stability button on the main page, you can see that that has no effect on our two port plot page. These are just what the other menus look like. I really haven't changed anything else in these menus. I did go ahead and add the ADF 4350 power setting. Unfortunately, I could never get that to work. It would have been a nice feature to have. 
and again I've gone ahead and add the magnifier to the original polar plot as well and again when you're using the USB port with the V2 plus 4 you can exceed the 401 data points here we are at a thousand data points obviously it slows down the data collection well that's going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it at this time I plan to go ahead and release the software the way that you see it in this video I do have the manual updated I'll go ahead and place that up on github fairly quickly I still haven't updated the software for the original nano VNA but I hope to get that done fairly soon well until the next video stay safe and we'll see you then later